Hey what's up guys GK here. So if you remember my last video, I have asked a question on Google App Engine. So by end of this video, you should be able to answer that question quite easily. Before we get started on App Engine, so we will be looking at how App Engine is important from the exam's perspective. So from the GCE exam outline, so there are two sections where the App Engine has been mentioned. Okay, so basically in the one section, is about how App Engine is or when App Engine would be selected when you are considering for applications on cloud. There is a very good documentation on Google website about choosing the right service for a given workload. I'm going to give that link in the description so you don't have to worry about that. I will also share the slide in the description below. Now the next section is more on the App Engine itself. Now how to deploy an App Engine adjusting the application traffic, splitting parameters, setting scaling parameters for auto scaling instances, and how you can deploy App Engine either from console or cloud shell. So working with management interfaces, the last section is common for all the topics in the exam. Now in the part one of this video, I'm going to discuss about what exactly is App Engine, how it is different from the compute choices when compared to other compute choices and how to differentiate between standard environment versus flexible environment of App Engine. Now in the terms of choosing the appropriate compute choices for a given workload, as you all know GCP has different services available like Compute Engine, Google Kubernetes Engine, App Engine, Cloud Run and Cloud Functions. Now if I have to just give an overview, uh, I'm sure I'm going to discuss more about the compute choices in the next videos. But for this video, if I have to give an overview, let's say that you want to migrate an application and the application is heavily dependent on the virtual machine. Then you would choose that application to be Compute Engine so that you can have your own VM and install that application inside a VM. It is equivalent to EC2 in AWS, like we have discussed in my previous video. Now, if you want to control your application over using containers, so either you could choose, you can go with uh, Google Kubernetes Engine or Cloud Run, or we can also go with App Engine Flexible. If your application is an event-driven model, so that's when you would choose Google Functions. And in compute itself, either you can go with preemptable VMs or custom machine types as appropriate. So what exactly is App Engine? So going by the definition that has been given in the website itself, App Engine is a fully managed serverless platform for developing and hosting web applications at scale. The word serverless is given here because when you deploy your application in App Engine, you don't have to manage the infrastructure underlying where your application is running. So that's completely managed by Google. So App Engine can be called a serverless or you might also get a question on App Engine being called as a platform as a service, which is also called as PaaS. So the reason why it can also be called as PaaS is because um, App Engine is a, is a platform where you can host your application. You don't have to worry about the, the underlying infrastructure or the scalability of the platform. So it is completely managed by the service provider, in this case, which is GCP. So if you want to uh, relate this with any other service provider, like Red Hat has OpenShift as a you know PaaS solution, and AWS has Elastic Beanstalk as a PaaS solution. And um, another famous example is from Pivotal, uh, where which is called as uh, where they have something called Cloud Foundry. Now each of these platforms uh, give the developers the flexibility of managing their code instead of managing the infrastructure. So it's more like a CI/CD and a DevOps-driven model, um, where the developers just focus on creating their code and then you know putting the code and deploying the code in the platform, and the platform will provide all the bells and whistles for the code to run. Uh, in, in a scalable environment. So App Engine 
started providing a standard environment uh, when i say standard environment app engine by default support some of the languages you can see all the supported languages here um, for instance by default it supports python 2.7 java node php ruby it does support most of the languages so if your application is uh, it does fit into one of these languages then you can safely choose standard environment so the reason why standard environment is also better is because it can scale from zero to to uh, high and it is highly suited for a very scalable environment where you have extreme spikes and you know you can completely rely on google or or you can completely rely on the platform for your scalability another good part of standard environment which is important from the exams point of view is also that when it is scaled to zero you don't have to pay any money to google so that's the standard environment but if you want to choose a flexible environment where you want to manage your infrastructure in a way like you want to manage the compute underlying underlying the platform then the flexible environment is much better so you can you can run any programming language or you can choose any runtime here the reason for that is you know it supports docker containers so that is very important that that's uh, that's one of the question that i have asked in my previous video since it supports docker containers you can containerize pretty much any of your native code and then put that into a flexible environment so there are uh, high level differences as well like the time it takes for a standard environment to start up and the time it takes for the flexible environment to start up so if you see standard starts up very fast when compared to flexible but flexible gives you benefit of managing your infrastructure like you can debug uh, going into the compute where the application is being hosted underlying and then you can fix some of the issues now one important thing to note here is each project can have one app engine application so if i can show you that real quick i'm using my free tire you know gcp console i just want to tell you that you can have only one app engine per project so what is a project project is nothing but it's like a account in aws where all your resources reside inside a project like in this case i've created an app engine which is of standard edition and it's in inside my uh, first project and i'm going to go in depth about the projects in maybe next videos so you have to choose the project and a region while creating the app engine and from the exams perspective we don't have to worry about the flexible so we'll just focus on the standard version of the app engine so when to choose app engine um like i've said before so there is a very good link on when to choose what i have given a you know perfect solutions for the use cases based on your use cases like if you are using a container based apps and services it could be cloud run you know if your application is a monolith workload and is a more like on premises then you would go with compute engine and in the case of app engine so app engine is more suited when you have a microservices based architecture app engine suits them because you know they can they can each microservice can scale based on the demand and the traffic and and then they, it can scale back that's all i wanted to discuss in this video um, for the first part so in the second part we're going to see how to install app engine how to manage it how to split across the traffic and i did get i think two questions from the second part and one question from the first part so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching